Hello, Big Yumbo here. Today I'm just going to be showing you what I'm going to be photographing and listing on eBay today. There's a little bit of noise next door from my neighbor. They're running their AC, so you're just going to have to deal with that. The first item is this military dress uniform. I think it's probably Air Force based on the crop of this jacket, and I think it's... Uh, Probably World War II, based on the crop of this jacket. And it's all wool. Um, I don't know. It's missing a button. And there's no tags, so I just compared it to some other ones I've seen online. Maybe a hundred bucks for the set. It's pretty cool. It's no herringbone twill. Um, I might even just hold on to it, because I like this kind of stuff so we'll see at that same spot where I picked that up I got this I'm not listing this on eBay this is just cool I just wanted to show it it's an N2B jacket made by Alpha Industries and this is like one of the oldest tags you can find um, for these flight jackets so if you see the black tag on the military stuff it's gonna be older I think this one is 63. That's what everyone online is saying, and it does have a 63 on the tag, so. The earliest versions of this jacket use real coyote fur here. I actually can't tell if this is synthetic or real fur, because I've never petted a coyote. I think the only way to tell would be to like maybe burn a little bit of it and see what it smells like. But what's cool about this jacket is the clamshell hood. So it like zips on the top. Some people call it a snorkel jacket. See that? It's pretty cool. This jacket with this tag would be like a $300 jacket. I paid, uh, Paid up on it. Here's, I'm not gonna sell it though, I'm just gonna hang on to it for like 40 years until it's 100 years old and then I'll sell it. Here's a pair of, I think these are OG 507 pants. Yeah. So you see the yellow tag in the military stuff? Usually that's 80s. It's not as good as 70s or 60s or before that. But People still buy those. Got a pair of Carhartt FR pants. Probably mid 20s I'll get for that. Let's see, we got some Y2K Levi's 2002. We got some 98 Levi's made in USA. There's a 569. These aren't that great of a, of a cut, but they are made in USA, so we'll probably price them at like 45. They're just 90s jeans, not that great. We got some more made in USA Levi's. These ones are a 518 boot cut. It's like a, a junior size though, unfortunately. It's like a women's junior. Not that great, probably like 25 bucks. And then we got some Y2K Husky Levi's. The Huskies actually sell pretty well. I was a Husky as a kid. Basically means just short and wide is what Husky is. Uh, some Boy Scouts switchback pants. That's what they call their convertible pants. They're decent. Mizzen and Main shirts, probably a $20 shirt. It's one of the made in USA ones, but it has a loose stitch on the front, unfortunately. So maybe like a $15 shirt with a loose stitch. Ermenegildo Zenia shirt. This one I think is 100% linen. So it's probably gonna go for around 35 bucks. Yes, it's 100% linen. It's really stiff right now. Uh, how you can fix that with the linen, because like if you wash them, they get super stiff. Just turn it inside out and throw it in the dryer for like 
five minutes. It's not gonna ruin it. It'll just, cause we have super hard water here in Southern Nevada. And uh, anything you wash, if you hang dry it, especially if it's like linen, it's gonna be like rock hard. But when you do that, it like loosens up the, uh, I don't know, it works. Just a raw gear tank top, I don't know. I wouldn't grab this unless it was super cheap. I've sold a couple things from raw gear. It's um, this fitness YouTuber guy's brand. What's his name, Bradley Martin? Uh, we got some built shorts, built super good. Not really for their shirts anymore, but for their pants, their jackets, shorts, substantial pieces. But they're like t-shirts, not really. Here's just a sub pop Seattle t-shirt. That's the record label that a lot of the grunge artists of the 90s were on. It's not vintage. It's probably worth like 10 or 15 bucks tops. I'm going for a 80s trucker look today. We have an Ariat Tech polo. I don't know. I haven't looked these up in, in a while. Sorry, I don't have all the research for you today. Um, I think there was like a couple fabric snags on it. So maybe 15 bucks, something like that. We've got these Notre Dame, Notre Dame jerseys. I think they're soccer jerseys. And I've sold, yeah, they are. I've sold these before, back when I lived in Sacramento, where they've got these Under Armour tags on them. Under Armour AF Game Time jersey. I don't know. I'd have to look them up. But last time I found these, I think I sold them for like 50 bucks or something like that. Don't quote me on it. Um, look it up yourself. I don't even think these are new because there's like a couple marks on them. Does anyone know what this means when they have these things? I think they were maybe sold at a college. Huh. I don't know, but it's a $75 MSRP. So that, maybe we'll get 25 bucks for them or something like that. Some Tommy Bahama elastic waist cotton cargo shorts. Probably a $25 item. And usually these are pretty high sell through during the summer. They seem to be a bit faded though. We'll see. An American Giant women's t-shirt. Sold one of these the other day for $14, but it sold in like a day. Here's a Lululemon button up. These dressier ones don't sell as well as like the, the airing easy vented ones. Um, as you can see, they usually have like a little thing on the hip. I would hope to get 30 bucks, but I don't know if that's the case anymore with these. If I could maybe somehow figure out the actual style on this, it would be helpful. Here's a Troy Lee design shirt. It's a mountain bike. I think they make motocross stuff too, type company. This one is like a cycling button up and these do pretty well. They do really well for a club ride as well. You know, it's a cycling thing. So it's got the little zip pocket on the back. It's like a performance stretchy fabric. I would guess like 25 bucks, something like that. We have some Lululemon pants. They are a jogger. Looks like women's. Grab all the Lululemon pants I find for sure. I'll, I'll pass on some of like the yoga pants and stuff, but. Those are probably 30 bucks. Um, we have a battle dress uniform BD, BDU shirt. Uh, this is the woodland camo, so it's probably 80s. If, when you find this pattern, usually it's from the 80s. And this is like the most common military item you can find. Is this what I'm holding in my hand? So it's not worth very much. Um, but the prices have been kind of going up on them. So you can probably get 25 bucks for this one. Technically called the uh, Co Combat Woodland Camouflage Pattern. And yeah, this one's from 1981. You can see the uh, 81 right there.
And here's another 80s thing. This is a little better, probably more like uh, 50 bucks if I'm lucky on this one. Oh crap, we just dropped a lot of stuff on the ground. This is the M M65 field jacket. It's M65 because it was invented in 1965, but with this pattern, you know it's probably 80s. Um, can't really read the tag on this one. Oh yeah, 86. But this one is made by Alpha Industries, so that should help. And the fact that it's vintage 80s will help. Oh my lord, I lost a lot of stuff here. Ah! Ah! Oh god. I did such a good job stacking this too. Here's another one in a bigger size. And you're looking for cold weather field woodland camouflage. I do better with the M65 jackets that are just plain green. Those are more popular than this. The plain green military stuff does better than the camo most of the time. For the older stuff. Uh, we have a pair of Made in USA 501s and they're black, which is cool. Oh man, everything got all dusty from the ground over there. Ridiculous. And I just did a load of whites too, and now they're probably all dusty. So here's my load of whites. We have another pair of Made in USA 501s. They're just 90s for both these. It's going to say Made in USA on the back of this thing pretty much every time it's Made in USA. Then you look on the inside, this is a late 90s, early 2000s tag. And these are made in 97. 0997 and they're women's unfortunately which i didn't know when i grabbed them but this i was gonna wear but it's way too big for me i don't know why i always think i can wear an xl so i'm just gonna pop it on ebay for ten dollars or something we have a cool shirt this looks like an older one so it probably doesn't have a style code which is unfortunate. This is probably just like a $20, $25 item if it doesn't have a style code. But it is stretchy. It's got roll tab sleeves, which is when it has a button here where you can roll up your sleeve and pin it on the button. Here's a white Peter Millar Summer Comfort shirt. I thought it didn't have any patches or embroidery on it, but I was wrong. If I knew it said Channel 100, I probably wouldn't have grabbed it. Is it Channel 100 or Chanel 100? Mm. I don't know. It's probably not worth much now. A plain white one with no stains, I think would sell pretty well. We have a vintage Discovery Channel shirt. Got this in a state sale for a buck. It's a single stitch. It's probably an XL or a 2XL. Kind of wish it would uh, fit me, but it doesn't. I think this is called airing easy. This is a Lululemon shirt. And you see that like perforated kind of grid pattern on it? I believe that's airing easy. Here's your logo. Uh, I've sold these ones for like 35 to 45 bucks. So I don't know. If, if I knew the exact style, that'd be so helpful. This one's more of a relaxed fit kind of. Here's a 511 holster shirt. It's like a compression undershirt. You put your guns in here. It's like 20, 25 bucks. Ugh. Here's another one I got from that estate sale for a dollar. I think it's 80s based on the material. Well, it says 1958, 1971. Unfortunately, there's no tag. It's probably just like 80s or something. It's got Snoopy, but it says cool dad. So that's not really that cool. Uh, for a buck, I just didn't want to leave the estate sale empty handed really after driving all the way there. It took forever. We have some Y2K 2004 Adidas like soccer track pants. And I think this is for the, the Spain international team. I'm not 100% sure. It says Real Federación Española 
de football. Football? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they're legit. They got all the tags and everything. Well, how could these... Huh. Yeah, I don't... I'm pretty sure they're legit. They're probably not that valuable. Maybe. This definitely isn't very valuable. It's a mountain hardware. Ooh, it's like transparent almost. Lightweight, base layer, like running shirt. I said it before, I just like this brand. So sometimes I grab it if it's cheap. Maybe I'll try it on for when I go hiking. This is crazy. Okay. It's not crazy. Well, it's, it is crazy. Here's a Dixon shirt. Dixon, D-I-X-X-O-N. It's kind of like a little low rider label there. But then we have matching shorts to go with the shirt. What? So I don't know. I don't know. I'm conflicted. Should I sell them together? I've never seen a pair of Dixon shorts that had a matching shirt or vice versa. Pretty cool. I mean, I would never wear that. I like the shirt, kind of. But with the shorts, you look like a... I would look like a big baby. <laughs> In a onesie or something, you know? Pretty good though, Dixon. Then I got this Pendleton vest. Unfortunately, I'm so stupid, I didn't see this little burn hole on the shoulder. Just a wool waistcoat. Ow, something just bit me in my leg inside my pants. Ow. The other day I was at the thrift and I was holding all these jeans under my arm. And then a little bug crawled out of the jeans and was just biting my arm. And I got this big rash on my arm from this little bug. A little black bug. It was annoying. Yeah, here's the vintage Pendleton tag. This kind of looks like what I wore when I worked at Target in like 2013 as a cashier. Would you like to sign up for a Target red card today? That's what I had to say. Would you like to save 5% on this purchase by starting signing up for a Target red card? Here's a pair of 501s black. This is cool. I was like, that's not vintage when I seen it. It's a Nike ACG jacket. But it for sure is vintage or fake as hell. Um... Come on, Nike heads, what do you think? That's an old ACG tag. Look at that. What does it say? Snow Patch Spire? Never seen a tag like this. Fake? Real? I don't know, I'd have to do some research. I mean, old Nike stuff, like jackets and stuff, they're not made in USA. It's a cool little, like, lightweight anorak type thing. Crazy colors. Let me know. I think it's real, but... I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's a big M, and then it says Indians. Is it a college? Is it a high school? Hopefully it's a college, because the college stuff, what does that say? Ma, ma, what does it say? Mahanam. I can't read it. I, would, I hope it's a college though, because it's on the old Fruity Loom tag. And usually I get like 35 bucks at least, even for colleges I ain't never heard of. So hopefully it's okay. We have some Area M5 jeans. List these for right under 40 bucks nowadays. Oh, got more stuff on the ground. We got another Dixon shirt. This one's cool. It's all camoed out. 
This one's called the Sarge. I thought it said large, but it says Sarge. It's probably 50 bucks at least. Maybe you're wrong. Maybe you're right. I don't know. But it's going to be worth grabbing. Pretty much anything Dixon. We got a Levi's Pearl Snap. It's just like a heavy cotton. It's not uh, chambray or whatever. We have some Roan shorts. You can spot them by this little guy on the back of the waist. But the waist is completely blown out. So these probably just aren't worth anything, which sucks. Then we have some Lululemon shorts. Spotted them by the back of the waist three thing there. Uh, unfortunately, one of the drawstrings is missing the, the thing. What I might do is just cut off the other one and then tie them up all cute. Make it look like it was supposed to be like that. Had a gun, your shirt's probably ten dollars a year for that nowadays. Some Viore shorts, these are tiny. I think they're men's extra small. They say extra small, but I don't think they're women's because of the shorts. I think a women's would have more of a panty style liner, where this is more of a boxer brief. Bad size, but probably 35 bucks still at least. Then we have a Lululemon button up. This one's kind of stretchy, which is nice. That other one I showed earlier, that like dressy one, not stretchy at all. It felt cheap, honestly. There's your little guy. I mean, I don't know. I hope 30 bucks. I don't know. I don't know the style on it because there's no nothing on those. Here's another ACG item. This is kind of sick. I might try this on. It's like a lightweight fleece, but it's kind of scratchy. Almost like a like a wool or a acrylic. I think it's kind of older. I don't know if it's vintage, but it's got a cool little see it says ACG on there. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And it's got kind of a boxy fit, which should help it out. Let's see if there's an inner tag. There is an inner Nike tag, which is a sign that it's real, but it doesn't have the one underneath, which is fine if it's early 2000s, but if it's modern and it doesn't have the little paper one underneath, I think it's fake, but I think this is real. Just based on that zipper. It's probably not worth that much, but it's kind of cool. I'm gonna put it over here to try on. I don't wear any Nike stuff, but I'm... I like a lot of the ACG stuff. It looks cool. We got some uh, Duluth stretchy pants. These ones don't say anything. They're probably just some dry on the fly. Whatever's probably 25 bucks. We got some 80s Levi's. This is what an 80s tag looks like. See, it looks like it was almost typed with a typewriter. That's a good sign that it's a little bit older. Unfortunately, these have been cropped too. Crazy short inseam, let me see. 25 inches on the inseam, so they cropped them to pretty much worthlessness. And here's the 80s tag. This would be before like 1985, you're gonna have the little paper tag that does not have a bat wing. And then um, let's see what the factory number is. The factory is 532, so you just find 532 on there. It's gonna be on there somewhere. Oh shoot. It's right there. And the date is not on the 532 line. I'm saying there. I'm calling them. Um, hmm. It's weird if they were 87, but they could be. I'm gonna call them 87s. Because they're 505s. Most of the rules for Levi's apply to 501s mostly. Um. And then the rules get broken on a lot of the other styles, especially orange tabs. But I'm gonna go with 87 on those. Here's a Lululemon jacket. I think I gotta wash it because it has a little stain here. It's 
probably 45, 50 bucks. Here is a Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. It's got some cool factors on it. It's got the little crest here. It's got the number on the side. It's kind of a heavier cotton. It's got metal vents under the pit. And then it's got on the back of the collar, another number two. Uh, that's the kind of thing I buy for Polo Ralph Lauren or jackets or that kind of stuff. This I'm probably gonna toss because I figured out it's missing a button. This is just Chaps Ralph Lauren, which I never picked up, pick up. But if it's vintage with a cool pattern, you can sometimes get 20 bucks for it. This one's missing a button. So I'm probably just gonna list it for like 10 bucks and try to get my money back. This is another Lululemon item. It's like a fleece jacket. I think it's made out of wool. I did not look up the style on it yet. Unfortunately, it's a men's large. Ah, oh, crap. I recognized it by the zippers when I was in the store. That is a classic Lululemon zipper. Then I checked inside the pocket and we got the style code. But, but, and we know it's a men's because it says LM. If it said LW, it's a women's. But this thing fits like a small. And it says it's a large. So that kind of sucks, which that makes me think it's wool, which kind of balances out the suck of it shrinking because wool is more valuable than not wool. But wool always shrinks if you try to watch it. We have some Lululemon pacebreaker shorts. You can always tell those by this. Those are pacebreakers. They're either lined or unlined. These are lined. Another pair of those. I'm selling these for like $20, $25 nowadays. We got a James Purse polo. Size two is a size medium, I believe. I think it goes one small, two medium, three large. I learned that from this YouTuber, like something row Fisher, micro Fisher, L row Fisher, something like that. He's, he's cool. Um, we have another Hermenegildo Zenia shirt. This one is probably like a $20, $22 shirt. It's not as nice as the linen one. Still grab pretty much all the Zenia, everything that I find. Uh, we got a Roan t-shirt. It's got some fabric runs on it. It's weird because I haven't found a Roan in months, and then I go and find it at multiple thrift stores on the same day. God, my nose is just crazy itchy right now. Another Roan shirt. If they were in perfect condition, they might be like 25, 30 bucks, but they got little flaws on them. Another Peter Millar shirt. This one's got some crap on the sleeve too. It says wine and golf. Ugh. I'm just like reluctantly picking up a couple of these to fill out my listings because they do sell during the summer. I need some water. I'm getting real thirsty. Foot Joy golf pullover. Ooh, I'm woozy. It says Reflection Bay on the front. Should be fine. It should be like 25 bucks. Peter Millar, I don't know, 15 to 20. These are good. It's a pair of Tommy Bahama linen pants. These sell fast. Uh, I've been selling for like 29. This one's actually really good, even though it's modern. It's from 2001. It's a uh, Jacket Flyers Cold Weather 45 slash P. It sells for like 125 bucks. It's like not even that nice. I was shocked. But a lot of these flight jackets do well. You, you gotta look them up. They can't really just go off site because there's a lot of them that don't do that well. And this particular one, I was at the flea and I, I looked at it and she was like, 
$30. And I was like, oh, no way. I'm not paying $30 for that. And then I walk around the corner. I was like, oh, maybe I look it up real quick. Then I go back. Then I buy it. That's kind of my strategy when I go to the flea, though. Usually, I mean, the flea is way more expensive than the thrift store. I don't know about where you live, but but you can find way cooler, more valuable stuff. Um, yeah, and they just have a lot of stuff that I like there. But if you're trying to just go and buy, like, $2 junk, it's pretty, it's not that much of it. Uh, anyways, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching.